Hey guys, Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Hope you are having a good start to the year 2021. And we are getting back into plug and showcases. Starting off with a bang is going to be Beauty Quest. And that is what today's video is going to be about. Probably the best free quest plugin that you can have. And I just really enjoy when servers have quests uh, that just adds a little bit more interaction for players. So this plugin is working on version 1.11 through 1.16. And you do need to have citizens installed for this to work so let me go ahead and do a quick demonstration of how this plugin works so we have our preset uh, objective that we have and we can go ahead and click on the crop quest npc now this comes with a built-in scoreboard which i absolutely love it just keeps uh, players in track of what they have to do so our first objective is to find the region crops and so i have made this region with road guard so we can enter this region and boom now we have updated and now we need to right click on a wheat block and so i'm going ahead and just right click on this now we need to bring items specifically three wheat back to the npc so i'm going ahead and G gm zero and we'll break some of this and we should get one more and there we go so now we have three we can come back he has a nice updated particle saying hey he needs these specific wheat so we can bring it back he's like hey thanks for giving me those crops we'll do it one more time and now we have completed the full crop quest and that is such a cool and unique feature guys i love this, these quests because you can pretty much make whatever you want but that is just a quick demonstration of how this works now let's get into the guts of the plugin and show you guys how you can create your own quest Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. So the main command for this is going to be quest, and here is pretty much all the different types of subcategories, and we're going to be focusing on the create one. So we can do quest create. Now this is going to bring up your GUI menu. This is where you can create and edit all your different types of quests, which is so nice, guys. This is such a nice feature. So let's start out by making a new quest, and here is where you can set up all the different types of options. So we have regions, so this requires world guard, you can find NPCs, you can bring back items, kill mobs, break blocks, place, you can write in chat, um, you can do interaction with blocks, catch fishes, fill buckets, go to location, and you can even check the player time. I'm going to do interact with a block, and I'm going to head and do uh, select a precise location. So I'm going to head and come over here. Let's do let's do one of these wheat blocks uh, over here. All right. So we can click the stick, and we can right click, and there we go. So now we have uh, currently set this interaction with that specific block. So uh, in here, you can edit specific rewards once that player has finished that. Uh, objective you can do descriptions you can do a starting message uh, so all this is fully customizable and here it tells you the block that we have so once you have selected that block let's go ahead and do a new objective and let's do kill like five pigs so we can do uh, select entity type or we can select an existing npc we'll go with entity type and we're going to search uh, pig there we go so we have our pig right here, so now we need to select them out. We'll do three for this example, and you can add as many in here as you want. We'll click validate, and now we have those things. Now we can add a specific description or a starting message, and we'll just say, uh, go get some porkies or something, all right? So we'll say, go get some porkies, and you can use color codes in these messages as well. Uh, so there we go, that is our message. Now we also have uh, validation requirements. If you want to set up requirements, you can. So say, uh, if you want to do a requirements, we can do that. You can check uh, if it's in a quest, if a previous quest is completed, or if they're in a specific region, a school or permissions or like a specific XP level let's go ahead and do like permission and we can add uh, something permission we'll just say for my example we'll do like essentials dot back or something so that would check if the player has the slash back uh, command we can validate that and we can just uh, say skip all right so now we can do that and we'll click validate and we are pretty much set 
And then let's say for the last objective, we can break some blocks and we can select a specific block. So material, let's go with, um, I don't know, let's go with dirt, all right? So we'll just break the dirt. We'll just do uh, 3M out for that one. And then we don't need any block data. Uh, and then we just validate that. And there is the dirt. And as I mentioned, you can select anything within here as well. Once you click validate, once you have completed all the steps, uh, you can add um, numerous branches if you want to add multiple stages, which is pretty cool, but we're just gonna keep with a single stage. Now we can validate this. This is where you're gonna be doing the very final steps of everything. So we need to set a quest name. So this one is just kind of a miscellaneous, so I'm gonna just type in miscellaneous. Uh, you can put in whatever name you want, uh, totally up to you. And then here is uh, some descriptions if you want. So we can say like, uh, grab all the uh, items from the quest, right? So we can say that, and that is the description. And we can also edit the specific material in the quest menu. So we could just do like a stick, all right? So that would appear in the quest menu. Next, we also can check uh, various placeholders within here. So if you want it to be canceled, if you want it to be in the GUI, if you want it to reset when the player dies, you can also have the enable scoreboard if you want it to hide the menu and dine map. So it's just, <laughs> there's a lot of various uh, uh, placeholders that you can toggle within here. Or if you want it to be done several times, so this could be like a 24 hour quest. So say you do kill five pigs and this will be done every like 24 hours or something there's a delay on it so then you can also edit requirements do the start rewards and then you can select an npc to start the quest so let's go ahead and make an npc so we can create one or if you have an existing one you can select it right here i'm going to head and create my npc in here this is where you can edit the skin and you can type the skin of the name so in my name we'll do like soul striker so there is my skin and then we need to edit the specific NPC type. So then in here, you can select the specific thing. So you could set like an Ender Dragon for the NPC, um, or we can go to the next page and we're gonna be doing the player because that is gonna be the NPC. And then we can edit the NPC name. And we're just gonna call this Miss uh, Quest, all right? And we'll do call it that. And then we can move, or uh, if we wanted to move to another uh, location, but we're gonna say validate right here and we'll create that NPC. Next, we can edit some start and dialogue. So this is gonna be when a player has clicked the NPC and we can do help. And so this brings up the help message for the specific uh, NPC. So if you want uh, the NPC to do some messages, you could do NPC and we'll say, hey there, um, can you do this quest, all right? So then we can do that message. Uh, we can do another message and we'll say uh, yes <laughs> or something. Then we can also uh, send the player. So we can do the player and we'll say yes, I will do that, all right? So we can say that. And then now once we are done with those messages, go ahead and just hit close. And then now we have our startup. There's three strings involved with that. And then uh, we already set that. We can edit the end rewards. So this is gonna be given when the player is complete all the quest. So we can go ahead and give reward. We can add specific reward items. We can do commands to execute. We can edit uh, messages, teleports, and we can also give experience. So let's go ahead and do some items. Let's go do, let's go with a, a diamond block. And then we'll give uh, five diamond blocks. You can do uh, item flags if it's specific items. You can change the name. You can make a custom lore. I'm just gonna leave it default. Click validate and you can add all the items in here that you want. Click validate again and you can add even more rewards in here. So there's totally customizable, which is pretty freaking sweet. Click validate. So that is our end rewards. And then we can edit message and we can say, um, we'll be like, thanks for doing this. And we'll just say, thanks for doing this miscellaneous quest. And then that should be good. So once you have done all your different types of options that you want to enable and all your things are set, we can go ahead and create the quest. So there we go. Now we have this miscellaneous quest and that is me. It looks pretty fancy if I say so myself. 
So if a player doesn't want to look for the NPC, they can always do the last quest and they can see the not started quest and here is the miscellaneous one. So they could click that or they can come to the NPC. So we'll click the NPC and we'll say, hey there, can you do this quest? And then we'll click it again and he says yes and then click it again and then I say yes, I will do that. All right, so now we can go ahead and click it and here it tells us to click on the block at that specific location. So we can go ahead and click on it. Boom, there we go, give me some porkies. So I'll give myself a diamond sword and we'll kill the pigs and we have one more pig left. Uh, come on, there we go, die for me, there we go. So now we need to mine five dirt. So we'll go ahead and mine down here. We'll do one, and then we'll do two, and three, and there we go. So now we have completed this quest, and we have obtained our five items, and it will say, thanks for doing this miscellaneous quest, and we'll say, perfect. So now there is no more particles, and if we do slash quest, it does update it, and it, here is our finished quest that we've done. So this is at the beginning of the video, and this is the one we just completed. Let me know if you have any questions for me down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.